Today we have yet another monitor from Gigabyte, but this is not an ordinary monitor. This is the Gigabyte MO27Q28G OLED gaming monitor, one of the first monitors available in the market right now that is using tandem OLED panel, making the colors super vivid. But is this a good monitor that you should buy? Well, that's why you're watching this video, right? So let's start off with the specs. The MO27Q28G, henceforth will be referred to as this monitor, actually boasts a magnificent list of specs. So this is a 27-inch monitor with a 1440p resolution that goes up to 280Hz refresh rate. The panel is, as stated on their website, a 4th generation WOLED primary and RGB tandem OLED panel. That means they are stacking OLED panels on top of each other to achieve super high brightness and also vivid colors. It also has NVIDIA G-Sync, by the way. Yes, native support. Okay, now let's talk about the panel quality first. The total brightness in SDR is actually 340 nits. I thought, hey, the brightness is not really that bright. Yeah, you really need additional context about this. You see, this monitor has an anti-reflective coating at the top, which makes the 340 nits brightness not an issue at all. Even with bright studio lights right now, you can still see the monitor clearly without a hint of reflection. And the monitor does have a really good color gamma coverage too. With its default settings out of the box, it can achieve nearly 100% for both sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamuts. No wonder the colors are so vivid and beautiful. Now, some people don't like such vivid colors as it will indeed strain your eyes quite a lot. We can change it to the sRGB color profile and it can achieve 95.51% of sRGB and 68.39% of DCI-P3 color gamuts. Of course, we can use a lot of other color profiles as well, but that's up to your own personal preference. The HDR manages to reach a maximum peak of 1,500 nits, but that's only achievable if there's only a small part of the screen that is lit up, as stated on their spec sheet as well. Okay, I have to say now that this screen is indeed looking amazing. OLED panels have perfect black levels already, and the tandem OLED makes the colors pop up even more, making games look even more amazing. For games that can go super high refresh rate, it will be a supremely amazing experience on this monitor. And this is especially true if you have a powerful GPU, as your experience will just scale accordingly. It's always better to use an NVIDIA card for this monitor in this case, since it has native G-Sync support to eliminate screen tearing. Even the bezels are rather small on all sides with no apparent logo on the display itself. And this is seriously one of the most beautiful monitors that we have seen so far. And now let's talk about some of the other parts about this monitor too. The OSD menu, whereby the buttons are located at the back of the monitor because the panel itself is really thin, has a lot of commonly found features. Out of all the features available, there are only a few of them that I want to highlight here. Firstly is the AI OLED care feature. Since it is an OLED monitor after all, burn-in will happen and that's why we have the AI OLED care feature to delay the effects. It works in the background, so we don't have to worry about it after turning it on. Of course, like many other Gigabyte monitors, this monitor has KVM functionality as well. Yes, we can connect our desktop and laptop to this monitor and then switch between two machines seamlessly and quickly with all of our keyboard and mouse linked to the two devices as well. However, the USB-C port, which is the secondary host for the KVM, only supplies 18 watts of power. And that is really insufficient as even the lowest powered laptops nowadays are taking in at least 45 watts of power. As for the ports, we have a pretty okay selection of them here. Also, I really do wish that there are more USB ports, both USB-A and USB-C, so that we can plug in even more devices other than just our keyboard and mouse to the monitor. If you want to take advantage of the KVM functionality, then just connect your devices as shown on the screen here, and then you can switch all of your peripherals to another machine by just the press of a button. It also uses an external power supply, which is great since we can swap it out easily if anything goes wrong, but the cable management is going to be a problem. And speaking of the cable management, we don't really have any options here. 
We have a little plastic ring that snaps onto the neck of the monitor arm, but it can't really hold cables that well as it will start flexing or the entire ring will just pop off. The included monitor stand is also pretty okay, I would say. It's minimalist in design, has a very flat base that we can put stuff on it, including the keyboard to free up more space on the table. The stand also has the full suite of ergonomic features like height adjustment, tilt, swivel, and also pivot, at least in one direction, but that's already good enough. If you want to use a monitor arm instead, of course you can, because this monitor also supports the standard 100 by 100 mm face arm mount. As for the price, this monitor is at 3000 ringgit Malaysia right now, but I can't find any information about the US pricing. Either way, this is a premium 1440p monitor with an amazing display, both in colors and the performance thanks to the low pixel response time and also 280Hz refresh rate. So that's it. That's all that we have to share with you about this Gigabyte monitor, which I'm not trying to read the model name because it's just very long, but also a very good monitor. Yeah, if you have any other questions, then leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.